A Blue Ash family is outraged tonight after coming home to find a police officer had shot and killed their dog. And that dog was a Chihuahua. Nine News reporter Lynn Giroux, live in Blue Ash, with a story you'll see only on Nine. Lynn? Well, what's so hard for this family, Clyde, is that they have to explain to their three sons what happened to their pet, a dog they had given to their 12-year-old son as a birthday gift a few years ago, and they're not even sure of that explanation themselves. I dug these out of the, dug these out of the porch. Nine-millimeter hollow points. Three of them for a five- to seven-pound dog. When Scott and Sharon Bullock returned home from a family member's funeral on Friday, this is what they found on their porch, blood and three bullets, along with a note to call the Blue Ash Police Department about their dog, a seven-pound chihuahua mix named Jack. He was cornered on the porch and scared, so the police officer, um, the sergeant said he bent down barehanded and took it up. Jack and Jack bit him. The Bullocks were shocked to learn that Jack had gotten out and two officers who tried to catch him ended up shooting and killing him right on the family's front porch. My five-year-old cried himself to sleep. Um, the night before last he was crying when his dog. He barks for him and every time he would bark Jack would always come to him. You know, so he sounds like one bark 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 for his dog hoping that he's gonna come back. You know, it's, yeah, it's it's heartbreaking. The Bullocks told their five and three year old sons that Jack ran away. The Bullocks admit they were at fault for leaving their dog outside and are sorry the officer was bitten, but they say their dog was not a vicious animal and had never bitten anyone before. They're wondering why the officers didn't call the SBCA to catch the dog. But they never made that phone call other than to come scoop the dog up off the porch after they shot him. Two grown men that can't gather up a five-pound dog, let alone train police officers, just sounds ridiculous to me. Now, the family says there were two officers involved, one that was bitten, the other that first tased, then shot the dog three times. Now, that officer later explained to the family that he was following procedure. We tried to talk to the Blue Ash Police Department tonight, but the supervisor did not return my calls. Clyde? All right, Lynn Giroux reporting live to